young boy, all alone, afraid, homeless. Daunted. Lost. Lonely. Homeless. What is homelessness? Homeless. The state of having no home, no nurturing environment, nowhere to belong. The definition of homelessness means not having a home. You don't have to be living on the street to be homeless. Even if you have a roof over your head, you can still be without a home. This may be because you don't have any rights to stay where you live or your home is unsuitable for you. Anyone can be homeless. Who does it involve an impact? An individual is considered homeless when they lack a permanent physical home. Homelessness does not discriminate and can happen for any individual or family. The cause of homelessness vary and include substance abuse, violence in the home and loss of income. This image represents the amount of people that are homeless in employment, that have mental health issues, that have long-term physical health issues and that use drugs. Homelessness is a major factor that needs to be recognised by all. This severely damages a person's well-being and is not seen as an important concept in society nowadays. These series of icons highlight the cruelty of our society and community towards those that are homeless. Many tend to ignore and push away those that suffer from this technicality and ignore the fact that they only want to be cared for and want to feel a sense of belonging. What is the history of homelessness? During the 200s, the number of homeless people continued to increase. The world continues to experience an affordable housing crisis. This is due to the high cost of housing, lack of affordable housing stock and wages that has not kept up with the cost of housing. During the Great Recession, from 2007 to 2009, many people defaulted on their mortgages due to their economic conditions and the real estate market. As a result, there was a huge increase in foreclosures, evictions and unemployment, which led to increased homelessness. Our idea is to resolve this issue. There are three main concepts that we can introduce in order to aid those that are homeless. The first is housing. Because homelessness is fundamentally defined by a lack of housing, housing is the essential foundation to ending homelessness. We need massive national commitment, public and private, to ensure affordable housing for all. Housing is a basic human right, without which people cannot lead stable, connected lives. If we expect to end homelessness, housing is a fundamental starting place. The second is services. Housing is essential but not as efficient. Housing alone without attention to health, behavioural issues, employment and education and other supports will continue to result in instability and recurrent homelessness for many people. Finally, social connectedness. We must follow the lead of nations that have focused on strategies for social inclusion that work actively to get rid of mental illness, substance use disorders, homelessness and poverty. We will continue to think of the world in terms of us and them, a worldview that is, I believe, fundamentally flawed. Creating a strategy for social inclusion and social connectedness must be part of our thinking in our work to end homelessness. What has been done to resolve this issue? The Australian government recognises that homelessness is an important issue that affects many Australians. It requires a long-term and systematic effort across agencies, sectors and the community. While state and territory governments have primarily responsibility for housing and homelessness, over the next year the government will invest more than $6 billion into housing support and homelessness services. This includes around $4.6 billion on Commonwealth rest assistance to assist eligible Australians meet their rental costs. It also includes more than $1.5 billion through the National Housing and Homelessness Agreement. Facts and Statistics